guys I hope you're all well welcome back to my YouTube channel and another sale haul so today I am doing an Arquette sale haul I did a big order as soon as I saw the sale come because Arquette is one of my favorite brands as you guys probably know because I bang on about it all the time and every time I have anything from Arquette to show you guys I always go on and on about how it's such a good brand, the quality is amazing, the pieces are wardrobe classics and that is exactly why I was so shocked to see some of these pieces in the sale and their sales are always so good because I don't really think they do like trend-led things I think all of their, I mean obviously they like take into account the trends and things but I do feel like their pieces are kind of timeless so I thought it was really good, um, a really good sale so I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces and as with all of my sales I don't really pick things that I think are just kind of off the moment, I try and pick pieces that I think are investments in terms of things that will stay in your wardrobe because I feel like a lot of the sale can just be things basically that no one else wanted um, but I try and pick the things I think are little gems, hidden gems in the sale and things that I think that you can keep in your wardrobe and wear next year or keep in your wardrobe and wear through to spring uh, things that are on trend and also wardrobe classics so I just wanted to show you that with all our pet pieces they come so nicely packaged um, so I think it's nice that they do that even in the sale uh, and as I said before with our kept being good quality pieces and stuff the prices are higher than like the River Island top shop sales I have got those sales too so if you want something a lot cheaper then make sure you check those out or link them in the description and up here so they are much more affordable than the usual Arquette prices um, and they're probably reduced to the amount that a normal H&M or Topshop item would be. Um, so they're still affordable but they're just, but they're a bit more than like a, just a 10, 15 pound top kind of thing. So the first piece I picked out is kind of a, I think it's called Pile um, Fleecy Top. Uh, jumper and it just looks so cozy that I was like I need to try that uh, and it says really nice I'm gonna stand here because I'll style all the pieces up there so it's really nice kind of pale pink fleecy material it is so cozy I would wear this just as like loungewear honestly um, but it's really actually warm and cozy which I think would be so good for this time of year when it's kind of starting to warm up so you don't really need a coat but you might still want a jumper and also things like this I think are so good when you go on holiday because I feel like often when, there's certain places when you go on holiday sometimes it's fine if it's somewhere that's hot all the time but quite a lot of places I've gone I often find that it will be freezing cold in the evening and you've only bought stuff for the day so things like this are really nice especially in such a beautiful bright kind of summery colour and it's also really nice and pastel coloured pastels are going to be huge for spring um, so yeah I think this is really nice now I would just wear it with like jeans and also I think it will look really, really, I think it will look really nice sandals um, as well and like a little skirt or over a little dress as I said for summer so this next piece is another kind of one that's great for this time of year and it's like a little knitted kind of bomber jacket jacket style uh, and I've got a knitted jacket from Arquette already which I love and it's a similar kind of material but a different style so it's got this um, kind of collar detail but you could also zip it all the way up to have it as a roll neck um, like a high neck uh, and it's like this kind of ribbed thicker material but still knitted um, and I just thought it looked really nice as like a light layer uh, and it's a bit different to a cardigan but it's not a jumper and not a coat it's just a kind of nice warm layer without having to wear a jacket or something also I thought if it is a bit chillier uh, where you are now it will look really nice layered with a coat over the top or a little jacket and also I think things like this can look really nice done up as well as a jumper okay so this piece I had to pick up because I think it's such a kind of staple of mine I have actually got it in pink and I wear that all of the time and I love it and so when I saw it in khaki going to the sale I was like I have to try that out I love the big cuff sleeves on it I think things like this like small details can make things look really expensive this khaki color is so timeless and I said in one of my other videos about khaki I think people often think of it as like a winter color but I personally think khaki it looks so nice with like cream shorts or jeans and like a cream or white summer dress with this over the top and just a like skirt hanging out a little skirt um, so I think it's a really nice one and again like when you want to get your legs out but it's a bit chilly this is a really good thing to wear with it because it will keep you nice and cosy and warm on the top half um, and then as well in this time of the year as I've just said like three times already for every other thing it's a good 
it's good to have like, a nice warm jumper that you can wear so you don't have to wear a coat. So this is something that I actually got from the men's sale, but I wanted to check it out because I feel like a lot of uh, Arquette is kind of unisex and I thought this was so nice. It's kind of, I thought it was going to be grey and now I'm not sure if it's grey or blue. It's kind of like a greyy blue and white. I think it's called space dye when it's like that or marl. And I just thought it was so nice. I really liked the knit. And I, there was nothing like this in the women's wear section. I don't have anything like this. And just thought it was quite a cool, kind of neutral, simple, timeless knit. Um, and if not, if I decided I didn't want it, then I thought maybe Jack might want it. Cause I, or it might be something that we can put in a joint wardrobe and share together. But I just thought it was a really nice knit. And I think this was like £30 or something around that price point. Um, and it is, it's just a simple jumper, again, and it's not, because it's like a knitted jumper, but it's not woolly, it's not fluffy, it's quite, like, almost quite coarse, but not, like, uncomfortably coarse. I feel like you guys know what I mean. I think it, this would be really good for, like, a summer jumper as well. So something I had to show you and pick up were these jeans. So these are a slim from the high rise slim fit jean and they are in such a classic blue colour I was so shocked to see them in the sale and I have a pair of Arquette jeans and what I love about Arquette jeans is first of all the quality like you can really feel the quality in the denim uh, and second of all they do a waist 27 so they don't just do 26 28 30 and so on and so forth they do the in-between sizes which I feel like really counts when it comes to denim it's the difference between an 8 and a 10 or a 26 and a 28 can be a huge um, and sometimes you just really need a 27 and I really do all the time so I'm always really happy when a company does 27s and Arquette do and these look like a really nice kind of high waist pair they've got really nice details like the orange stitching and I said they're like a slim fit, so they're kind of like skinny, but not. So I've said in quite a few of my videos recently about how I really love to wear shirts open. And this shirt is exactly what I ordered. That's exactly what I ordered this shirt for. Though looking at it now, I think I will wear it in other ways as well. So it's a wool shirt, and it's got this really nice detailing. It's kind of like charcoal grey. I love the pockets. Um, and I got it because I just thought it looked so nice with like a vest top or t-shirt underneath as like a layering piece. Um, but also now that I'm looking at it I think it will look really nice as just as a shirt with jeans too um, but I just that's what I ordered it for and especially in summer I love wearing things like this open because I think they make a really nice light layer for if you're wearing like denim shorts and stuff as well Cause sometimes if I'm in like denim shorts and a vest I feel really exposed and like naked so it's really nice to put like a lightweight shirt or something over the top um, for warmth and also to make me feel less exposed Okay, when I saw this, I had to order it. I was so shocked to see a blazer in the sale. Uh, you guys know how much I love Arquette blazers. I have one in particular in two different colours and I just think they're amazing quality and the fit is amazing. Uh, I actually did a five ways to wear black blazer. I'll link it up here in uh, with the Arquette blazer and I just honestly, I love their like tailoring. Um, so when I saw this blazer, I had to pick it up. I don't know if you can see but it's like kind of a black with a blue line going through it. <laughs> you see my face and I was like, uh. But it's, the blue line is almost like wool, like a knitted furry line. It's just really unusual and I think it looks really cool and I wanted to try it out. I got it in a size, what size did I get? I got it in a size 12, 38. Uh, because I like things oversized, so this is already oversized. I don't know if I've gone a bit too overboard here, but we'll see. You'll be able to see it here, and I just thought it was so nice. And this is a bit thicker too, so it's almost like in between a coat and a blazer, like a thick blazer, and I think those are really nice. And again, really good for this time of year when it's like not, not, it's too warm to wear a coat, but not warm enough to go without anything. And then finally, another piece of knitwear. I just was so attracted to this blue colour. And I was actually eyeing this up before it went into the sale. So when I saw that it landed in the sale, I had to pick it up. I just love this blue. I think it's so beautiful. Um, and it's got a really cool kind of round neck style. And I've not seen that kind of low round neck style on many jumpers, to be honest. Normally, I feel like they have a high neck or a V-neck. So I thought that was quite a cool little detail. Also thought with that big wide neck, it would look really nice off shoulder too. 
um, and it's this really nice kind of soft lightweight knit it's like a nice knit but it's really like light it's not a heavy jumper so it'll be really nice for spring summer and this color is just beautiful i can imagine it with like little denim shorts or over a summer dress um or also like if you're wearing like jeans and a top with it just like tied around your neck like this i know that's an expensive scarf but <laughs> i just think there's so many different ways to wear it and i really like the color this is definitely what attracted it to me Thank you guys so much for watching my Arquette haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite piece is. Let me know what you think I should keep and what you think I should get rid of. What is a hit? What is a miss? I love all of it, to be honest. I think that wool shirt is amazing. Uh, and also, I really love the khaki jumper and the little cream zip up. I need to like really sit down and think what I'm going to keep because I can't keep it all else I will be bone broke. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you get to the end. Leave me a little arc, like a Noah's Ark or a boat. Um, so, and then you got to the end and I can say thank you. Um, and if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. And don't forget there's so many videos to watch as well if you want to see different ways to wear things styling videos any more sale hauls there's all of that on my channel so go and have a look at what else you can watch if you are bored and if not then i will see you next time bye